Are you ready to kickstart your WordPress journey? Let's focus on getting your website to rank on search engines and to get you some organic search traffic. Investing in SEO is a smart move. It's cost effective and also helps you reap benefits in the long term. Here is how you can optimize your website and start ranking. Number one, choose a SEO friendly WordPress theme. Make sure that the theme that you choose is fast and also helps you load the page quicker, right? It needs to be lightweight. With the rise of page builders, it is important that you strike a balance between design and speed. A few good options to choose from are Divi, Hello from Elementor, and if you are a news publisher, you should definitely try out Newsmatic. Number two, set SEO friendly permalinks and slugs. Permalinks on WordPress is basically the URL structure itself. Make sure that you're giving users more context on what the page actually is. It is a good idea for SEO to set your permalink to your post name. This gives the search engines as well as the users more context. Let's see how this can be done. On your WordPress dashboard, go to settings and then click on permalinks. Here then scroll down and select post name or a custom structure rather than just going with the plain uh, structure which is basically has a number against each URL, right? This does not make a lot of sense. Well, let's say you have a post on movies to binge on Netflix. So it's better to have movies to binge on Netflix in the URL rather than just having a plain number out there, especially if you're trying to rank for the specific keyword or the phrase. If you ever have to change the permalink, make sure to choose a 301 redirect. Up next, we have choosing a WordPress SEO plugin. We would suggest that you have to choose a WordPress SEO plugin. It makes it easier for you to optimize your entire website. It also helps you, helps your pages to rank better, your posts to rank better as well. This can help you also to optimize pages based on focus keywords to ensure that your articles or posts show up when someone is searching for the specific keyword. We would recommend that you try out Yoast SEO as your SEO plugin. Here is how you can install it. To install Yoast SEO, go to your WordPress control panel, then click on plugins. Here you can search for the plugin. You can click on the plugin and then install and activate. And you're done. And it will start reflecting here. Up next, have an XML sitemap. An XML sitemap is like a map of your website which talks about your post, how they're structured and so on. You can directly submit it to search engines. Once you're submitted to search engines, they have a better idea of how your posts are structured and they can start ranking your posts accordingly. We just installed Yoast SEO. Yoast SEO has an inbuilt feature to actually generate your XML sitemap. Let's see how you can do it. Go to Yoast SEO, click on settings, and search for the XML card. Yep, you can see it right here. You can either, if it's not enabled, make sure that you enable this feature and also you can view your XML sitemap. Up next, we have using categories and tags for SEO. Organize your post easily with tags and categories. This also ensures that when the user comes in, the user can select a particular category and read content based on that specific category itself. Use categories for organizing large collections of content. It helps search engines to get a better understanding of the content that you produce and under what bucket and category that you actually add them to. Up next, we have Optimize your page content for SEO. Creating good content is just half of it, right? You need to optimize it so that you have a chance of ranking better than your competitors or others who have actually focused on that specific keyword. Start by entering your focus keyword on Yoast SEO so that you are ensuring that that post basically is focusing on that specific keyword and helps you rank better for that keyword when users search for it. One thing to note here and to remember is make sure that you use your focus keyword for one specific article so that you don't end up competing against yourself. Let's see how we can add a focus keyword, add focus keyword to the title and the meta description as well. Let's check out one post here. Let's select this. Okay, so move all the way down. Right, here is where you can add your focus keyword. Let's say it's going to be football yeah just for an example or it could be evolution of football okay so here 
we need to make sure that you add the slug basically would have evolution of football the meta description also needs to have evolution of football the title since the title is we have basically made sure that we have used a custom permalink so it basically has a title so since the page title is evolution of football it's automatically picked it has the page of course and this is separated and the name of the site as well this is again uh, something that we have chosen to do one thing you also know, need to know it you can strategically place the focus keyword throughout your article right this also signals uh, search engines that you are actually talking about the focus keyword itself next on the list is to optimize images on wordpress images are captivating but if you use images of larger size, it becomes cumbersome and it takes a lot of time to load the entire website. Optimize the sizes of your images and improve the quality to ensure that your pages load quicker. What you can do is you can compress and resize your images, right? Make sure that they're under 100 KB and make sure that the format of uh, the images are WebP. These are the few things that will help you load your images quicker. Plugins like eWWW image optimization helps you optimize your images and also converts your images to WebP. Let's try and install this plugin as well. As we know, let's go to plugins, add new plugin. Let's search for eWWW. Yes, this is the plugin. Let's click on it. Install and activate. Okay, let's just, now the plugin is up and running. Let's just manage the plugin. Okay. Now here, let's go to settings. See, this basically gives an option to do a lot of things, right? You can probably select speed up your site, save storage page. See here, you can basically tick this if you want your images to be converted to WebP. Okay, you can set your width. Reporting, you can just save your settings here. Now it basically confirms that all your uploads will be optimized automatically. Here you go. You can basically go ahead and optimize local images as well if you want to. You can remove metadata if necessary, resize the images. You can also enable lazy loading. So this speeds up your page by only loading images as visitors scroll down, right? There's no unnecessary load of images. This is something that you can definitely use and save. That's all. Up next, we have add image alt text. Alt text basically describes the image itself. Uh, it tells the search engines that this image basically talks about, let's say if we are talking about a football article, let's say one image basically will talk about how football has evolved or Messi playing football, for example, just describing what the image really is. What you can also do is you can include your focus keyword if it makes sense for that specific image. This also boosts your article when someone search for it. Finally, check your WordPress website load speed on page insights. This will give you a better idea of how your page is actually loading and the performance of the entire page on mobile as well as on desktop.